Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. We are standing here on the shores of the Anduin, the Great River, having just taken the boat back from Lothlorien here. The golden wood that you can see on the other side of the river. And the larger area of Karas Galathon with the great mighty Malorn trees in the middle there. As you see, the sun is slowly sinking into the west, so we do have a bit of daylight left. We were going to head out into the murk eaves here and continue working on um, our quest. We've got three quests left to do. we got to find the Desperate Soldier, the Wounded Soldier. We already found the Exhausted one. Got to capture the Western Bridge, capture the Eastern Bridge, and defeat three more of the raiders. So that is what we are going to go forth here and do. See if we can get that taken care of while we are uh, here in the murk eaves. And maybe while the daylight is still around. Uh, right here is where the stable master will be one day as soon as we finish up the... As soon as we finish up the actual uh, instance here, the beginning instance, and open up the deeper parts of Mirkwood for exploration. As you see, we haven't been out here in the daylight very much. I'm still, still getting that bit of a visual glitching there. As you see that cross, that kind of checkerboard pattern over here. As you get closer to it, you know, it's in the areas where it's in deep shade. As you get closer to it, you see it disappears there. See, it disappears. It's kind of wherever the, uh, it's kind of where the, the, I guess the, the shadow, um, the shadow, uh, imposters, as it were, the, the long distance shadowing, uh, you can see a little on that hillside right there is where it's trying to, to fake the shadows until you get close enough for them to resolve into the actual shadows. Uh, it only happens in DirectX 11, so I'm wondering if I just need to turn down my shadowing a bit. In fact, I'll take a look at it right here. Let's give that a try. Options, Advanced Graphics, and let's try... Where's the shadows? Mm, stencil shadows. Instead of having them on ultra high, let's put them on very high, maybe. And stencil shadows on very high. They're already on very high. Alright, that's outside. Environment stencil shadows. Certain indoor props and architecture. Landscape shadows. This is the one that I'm really thinking. Hmm. We will see. We'll see if that helps any. Looks like they're still over there, but we'll see. There's maybe not so much... Nah, still showing up over there. Some kind of bug in the, the graphics here. Alright. Let us see if we can take on that dude right there. Hope everyone's been having a good one. I had a very good weekend and looking forward to having a very good Monday here. I'm going to let him come back over this way a little bit. Let us detect weakness. Let's distract him. And then let's stab him in the butt. Very good. Awesome. I'm going to keep an eye out on the little chat thing over there. The scrolling chat and try and make sure that I can see if any um, desperate or wounded soldiers show up on the, the chat there. See, if we got closer, it resolved into an actual, resolved into an actual shadow there. I think it's just a, a flaw in the way the flaw in the way that the game engine handles handles the DirectX shadowing because that's the only thing if I turn it to DirectX 10 it doesn't have any problem with it at all it's only with the DirectX 11 that I see those you see them a lot they are all over the place over in Lothlorien up underneath that tree canopy over there it's, you can look out across some of the fields, and the entire field will be kind of a gold and and dark gold checkerboard out across there. All right, that's two riders down. We got to find one more. Oops. As soon as this wears off, that's going up the hill, just like what you see along the hillside there. 
Okay, guys, come on. Let's fuck that off. Okay, it's already, already wiped out. There we go. Let's get this last rider. And we will have filled that part for the Scoutmaster. And then we'll go see if we can hold the bridges. There goes the Goblin Runner. We don't need any more of them. Got all of them when we were over near the gate of, uh, not the Saranen. Can't remember what the uh, name of it was. Gastanon, maybe? When we were over at that gate. Trying to destroy the siege engines and jam the gate mechanism. So that they wouldn't be able to come through. We got several. Up, oh, I bet that's one right up yonder. I'll guarantee you that's one. Yep, wounded soldier. Let's go up there and see if we can take them on. How about... Oh, too late. Well, we'll go ahead and take them out. We know where he respawns now. There won't be any hassle whatsoever to take these two guys out. There he goes, and he popped right back up, didn't he? That was a very re fast responding soldier. Guess still a little bit of leftover from the day back when there were a hundred people in this zone trying to get all the quests done all at once. Tis a great relief to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see that. You've saved me from an unpleasant fate. Alas, these wounds will need to be tended to. I fear my part in this battle may be over before it has rightly begun. Very good. Now we've got to find the desperate soldier. And judging by this, both of them have been up on these hillsides here. So I'm wondering if the other one, the other one was on the far hillside. You see where we found this one. Our other one was up here on this hillside. So I'm wondering if we find the last one kind of across the river here on up on the hillside across the across the river, which I really worry about because it makes me wonder, you know, the 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 rivers of Mirkwood where you're told do not touch the water up there. Remember the enchanted stream and in the book The Hobbit, the enchanted stream that uh, the Elven Road crossed where Bilbo and the Hobbits were told do not touch the water because it would put them into an enchanted sleep. So it's like, hmm, I really don't know if I want to risk. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think whenever I'm playing in Mirkwood, I'm definitely going to be uh, turning it down to DX10 so that we don't have this checkerboard effect that you're seeing here. But they had the, they had the whole thing with the do not touch the enchanted water. Wow. That was a very malformed tree stretched out across there. New deed, the wilds of Mirkwood, the windstones. Guess what? That's what these must be here. Wow, look at them. Fascinating. All right. Why don't we get right up here? And I imagine we've got a travel log, so I will go ahead and do the travel log here. And we will see what the windstones are. The windstones are impressive in their formation, jutting high from the forest floor, shaped and beaten by the elements. But evil has settled here, and many cruel wargs prowl about, spoiling the land. All right, we've got our travel log entry here for the windstones. A very interesting section here. Very nice indeed. I wonder what happens if you go further up in here. Where are the windstones at on the map? Uh, back up here into the, the more uh, covered areas of the, the more forested areas of the Merkeves. 
Ooh, and look at there. Okay, that's the gate. So we're coming up on the side of the gate because there's the gate that uh, we jam the mechanism of. Yep. And there is the the fortress. So we've kind of ran in a circle there. Let's continue going on back to the south then. Past the windstones here. And see if we can't find where that other soldier may be. And then as we come through, we will see if we can take over and hold the two bridges as well. And then I think we will have all the quests done that are available before we actually uh, join in the assault on the gate itself and attempt to go further into a Mirkwood. I'm gonna risk it and cross the river here. As you see, I'm just pretty much an invisible wall here that's not gonna let you go any further up. You see, yeah, you see, we're not able to swim past the rapids here. Keep you from going any further into Mirkwood there. I'm curious if you can swim back in this way. Or if there's another invisible wall on the other side. Well, we're not passing out, but we have found a unclimbable riverbank here. We need to see if we can circle on around. And see if we can't get back. I guess maybe we're going to have to go all the way back to the bridge. Hmm, interesting. I see a broken bridge up here. Yeah, because right now we are not able to climb up on that climb up on that bank. So let's go on ahead and head up this way. Get back on the bank and see if we can find a bridge that we can use to travel further down on the southern side there. And also keep our eye out to see if they're for that desperate soldier. This bridge has already been destroyed, okay. That would be, I suppose, the eastern bridge. So the western bridge will be further down this way. Let's keep our eye out to see if there's anything in the chat log over here about... It looks like that one's been destroyed already, too. Wonder where that other soldier could be. He wasn't along there, because that's where we found that one. Alright, well, let's go further this way. Maybe he's down here closer to the actual fort and all for a change. Not right up against the zone wall where the other two were. Looks like this bridge may be gone as well. Could already have been destroyed. Has it now? Yep, that bridge has already been destroyed as well. And that explains why that uh, riverbank there is unclimbable. Because they do not want you to cross there, I suppose, until we have actually completed this area. Completed the Merkeves here. Unless the guy's going to have a... Unless they're playing there, there's the Maladrim soldiers once more in their eternal quest to take the gate. So we're going to keep going up here, and uh, I'm going to make my way back toward camp. And look for the desperate soldier in the meantime. And we will either see you back at camp or see you at the soldier, depending on which one we find first. And as we come back into the Ekad Sirion, it looks like camp is the first one that we have found. Ooh, it's starting to get dark again, isn't it? It's already dusk, I assume. Let us come on down and talk to Ivorel. And let her know that the uh, bridges are already destroyed. What can I do for you? The bridges were already down by the time you arrived. 
typical orc cowardice. They cut them at the first sign of danger and saved us the trouble of even worrying about them for the moment. All right, that's it with them. Now, we need to still find the desperate soldier, which is, I think, for the lore master over there. In the meantime, let's go up here and tell Commander Furigam that we have completed, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my light here, that we have uh, completed what can I do for you? killing the war riders. While there are doubtless more of these beasts and their goblin masters in Dol Gadur, you have done well to thin their packs for the present. With my soldiers free to maneuver in small bands again, the orcs will be pinned down and unable to leave their camps for fear of assault. I don't know if I mentioned it as well, but the uh, while well, we're before we take the next quest from him, the spring festival has started as well. So uh, I was going to let y'all know that I meant to tell you right at the beginning the spring festival. So head to the Bree Fields, do the hedge maze quest, and uh, see what the new horses and all are looking like. I'll be doing that later today to go take a look and see what the horse and probably drop the uh, turbine, the, the mithril coins, to buy last year's horse, because I don't think I collected it last year. Last year, if y'all remember when the Spring Fest came, it was one of the ones where I was, don't know what it was, whether it was having some burnout or what, but I just wasn't feeling like doing the festival that year. You know, it was difficult for me to, to just get into the game and play the game at that point. I'm glad that things have changed a bit since then, and that we're kind of back into Middle Earth once more. Let us talk to and see what we have. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Hilltop Assault. Many preparations have been made, and in no small part due to your efforts on our behalf, Narlo. Now we are prepared to strike against the fortress that overlooks the Murkeves, and with this thrust we shall claim the banks of the Anduin as our own and drive the orcs forth. Will you aid us in this endeavor? If so, speak with me again when you are ready to depart. As you see, completing this quest will end the assault upon the Murky Eves. Any quest you've not completed in this area will be cancelled and will no longer be accessible afterwards. So there we go. It is just like the the uh, walls of Moria, where we've got to finish. We've got to go out and see if we can find this desperate soldier. And we are going to go out and do that right now. I'm going to wander around in the, uh, the forest here as the darkness grows and see if we can't find that soldier. So that we can tell the healer, send him back down to the healer. And once we have pinpointed his location, we will get back in touch with you. So we'll see you then. Alright folks, I think we've got two warriors right here staring at the uh, cliffside. So I'm thinking we may have found where the last soldier comes up. Right there. Yep, there he is. There's the desperate soldier. Alright, let's go on in here, take these guys on. And let's get this guy on us too. Get his attention. I'm on you. There we go. That's got them both on me. Give the desperate guy no problems. Continue it on. I am so disappointed. We have a bunch of people complaining about the heat where they live. I had thought my time in Middle Earth ended. My thanks. Let me guess. Now you're going to run back to the uh, camp as well saying that... Thank you. I had reached the end of my strength and feared the end was near. Your intervention was most timely. Let's go ahead and cloak back up before the two. I thought when I saw them standing there staring at the wall. So I will show you where we are on this map. See, so we're right there. The other one was right along in this area. And then, of course, we found the other one right along in here. So basically, it's kind of like right before we got to the, uh, the windstone. So we've got one here, one there, and one right up here. So we have found all three of them now. Let us continue back. Boy, did it get dark in here. We are going to continue back down now, to back to the camp. 
and turn in this quest and then tomorrow we will see about getting the uh we will see about getting the the doing the hilltop assault and continuing into Mirkwood. See we're right there. There's the gate. The other right over there is where we found one of the other soldiers. This one was right up there. And of course the other one was way past those hills there. So let us continue on back to the camp. Tomorrow we will do the hilltop assault. I'm not going to take it on today simply because I don't know one if there'd be enough time to get it done and two I've got some other things I've got to get done here. Almost lunchtime this morning and I've got quite a few things I'm wanting to take care of. I should start having a little bit more time. There is the there is the camp there. I should start having a little bit more time to do a little bit more gaming here in the summer. One of the things that's been eating into my time during my days off is, of course, because we live in this neighborhood, and it has a neighborhood association that gets kind of uh, snitty if uh, you don't keep your lawn mowed to what they think is a reasonable schedule. So uh, I'm going tomorrow and picking up a riding lawnmower, getting tired of mowing um, two yards taken between three and four hours to get the uh, the yard, the front and back mowed, in uh, with a push mower. So tomorrow I am going to go get a riding mower, so that I can hopefully get the whole thing cut it down from three hours down to about one. Oh Lord, I guess that's one of the signs I'm getting older. Here we go. Here. Let us check. How can I be of service? It seems that you have managed to recover our missing soldiers, Narlo. Excellent. We cannot afford to lose too many soldiers this early in the campaign. We have a hard road ahead of us still. All right, there we go. As those lower level things continue. Oh, she's got another quest, so maybe we haven't completed. Might you spare a moment of your time? A daring rescue. Okay. I fear that a few of our number have been captured by the orcs, pathfinders who came across the river in silence before our attack to mark the landing spots and eliminate the enemy sentries. Most of them have returned since we began our assault in earnest, but a few have not, nor have we seen any sign of their bodies, which the orcs would have left to rot had they been slain. Thus I must believe that they yet live and are held captive nearby, most likely in the central fortification upon Ammon Agened, as they have not had time to move prisoners to Dol Godur. However, once we assault that fortress in earnest, they would most certainly kill any prisoners held there. If you could manage to get them out before them, the Maladrim would be in your debt. So we need to rescue a captured soldier. Okay, that's what we will do first tomorrow. We will see about rescuing the soldier, and then we will do the hilltop assault. I do not know how long that is going to take. Uh, but tomorrow may be a, a longer episode than usual. We'll have to see how it goes as we continue to see if we can't um, complete the Maladrim's quest to move deeper into Mirkwood. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you tomorrow, and thanks for following along. I really have appreciated it. We'll see you then, and bye-bye.